Hey guys, it's me, Thriftastic Mom, and today I am going to show you how I make my cranberry cream cheese pinwheel roll-ups. These are very simple to make. They are easy to put together at the last minute. You only need a couple hours to chill them, and you can throw them together really quick. Or you can make these a day ahead, like I'm doing, because tomorrow I am going to my mother's to celebrate Christmas with her and I told her that I would bring these cranberry cream cheese uh, pinwheels that I made last year. They were a really big hit at her party last year. My aunt loved them. She actually took the ones I had left over home with her. She loved them so much. Now these call for chives but as you see here in my ingredient I don't have chives because my aunt will be there and she can't eat stuff like that so I just left the chives out. Down here I have all of my ingredients laid out, my flour tortillas, I got my cream cheese uh, softened here, I left, I laid that out this morning, I just used the great value cream cheese, I got my feta ready, and a lot of times, you know, feta will come in big old chunks, so I kind of broke up my feta so it don't have real big chunks, and this here is just my dried cranberries by Southern Grove. You can use whatever dried cranberries you can find. Great value. It don't matter. I went ahead and put them in a bowl here. That's a one and a half cups of that. And that is a cup of feta. Then I have my bowl here to prepare everything in. I got a couple packs of sweet and low. I'm not sure how many I'm going to have to put in it, but I'll let you know. And then I just got this whole berry cranberry sauce. This is by Sweet Harvest. So... You can, um, so you can pretty much use any whole berry cranberry sauce. I also have a couple pieces of aluminum foil here, four pieces of foil. I normally use plastic wrap, but I'm out of plastic wrap because you have to roll your tortillas up. That way they'll stay together while they're in the refrigerator. So I'm using an aluminum foil, but you know, you can just use plastic wrap. So now I got everything ready. So let me just show you how easy it is. To put all of this together okay guys first thing I'm gonna do is prepare my cream cheese mixture I don't wash my hands I'm ready to go we just got to get this cream cheese open this is nice and softened cream cheese it calls for eight ounces of cream cheese this is a 16 ounce block so I'm going to just Cut it in half and then drop in half of it. Just like that. And I'll use this for something else. Okay, I got in eight ounces of cream cheese. Then we got to add in one cup of our feta. One half cup of dried cranberries going in okay now if you're going to use chives then you would throw in your chives here too but I'm not using chives then we just mix this together I kind of mash it bring that cream cheese up mix mix all together Okay, as you can see, I have got it all mixed up. It's good to have that softened cream cheese, guys, because this is kind of hard to mix up. If it ain't soft, you're going to have a hard time. I have seen some people actually get their blender out and blend it all up if you want, but you can just do it this way, either way. But that's what it looks like. It's just all mixed together, nice and pretty. And if you had the chives in it, you'd have a little green, so that would look nice, too. You know, especially for the holidays. Okay, I washed my hands, so now all I got to do is get out my flour tortillas, get four of them, and then start spreading the cranberry feta onto the tortilla. Okay, 
we'll do one at a time here. Okay, I just kind of section mine out into fours. That way I have about a, the same amount on each tortilla. And then I'm just going to plop on my feta. Hmm. I'm just going to spread this out all over the tortilla. go all the way to your edges because you want to have a nice area to roll up. I just spread it out and I make sure that every spot has some cream cheese, cranberry, just like that. Just kind of pinch it under here and get it started. And then just roll it just like that. Then you have a nice rolled tortilla. Grab your plastic wrap or your aluminum foil, whatever you have, and then just roll up your tortilla nice and tight. That's what it should look like. And then I'm just going to lay it on a plate and do another one. Number two here. This little this tortilla is tearing a little bit, so I'm gonna start with that in, tuck it under, and roll, roll, roll. Got my last one done. I'm gonna roll it up. Tuck it under and roll. I got all of my tortillas rolled up here. I'm gonna put these in the refrigerator. Um, they need to stay in there at least an hour and get nice and chilled. If you're in a hurry, you could throw them in the freezer for a little while. I wouldn't keep them in there too long. 
but I'm gonna leave these in for a couple hours and then I will bring them back and cut them up and uh, show you what they look like. I'm gonna prepare the sauce now and show you how I do the sauce that I like to dip them in. Okay guys, now I am going to blend up my whole berry cranberry sauce here. Got it open. Just gonna put this one can in the blender, chop it up a little bit, put it in a bowl. wanted to say the reason I like using this whole berry is because it's such a beautiful color and it actually mixes up really nice. I tried using the regular cranberry sauce and it just I don't know it kind of um, mixes up too light and it's thicker and I just didn't like the consistency of it but using the whole berry makes a beautiful color and Look at that. Perfect sauce. That's the way you want it. You don't want it too thick. Okay guys, I just put in three packets of Splenda, which I'm using the Great Value Splenda. I got me a fresh spoon here. I'm just going to get me a little bit out and taste it and make sure it is as sweet as I like. Mmm, yeah. That is perfect. I used three last year and it was perfect. So one can of whole berry cranberry sauce with about three packs of Splenda. It's perfect because it'll set up and get a little sweeter so you don't want to overdo it. But it is a perfect dipping sauce. Look at that. Love it. Okay guys, I have unwrapped my tortillas here. They're nice and firm. First thing I do is I just cut off the ends because that could be a little snack for you. Cause they don't look that pretty. Let's start in the middle. that's what it looks like and they are really good and you just dip them in that sauce and they are awesome so if you enjoyed seeing me make these cranberry feta pinwheels y'all leave me a big thumbs up y'all leave me some comments down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed and hit that notification bell that way you can be notified when I upload new videos and I guess I'll see you guys in my next video y'all have a Merry Christmas God bless bye